Hi, welcome to the third part of my guilty pleasures. Again, I don't agree too much with them anymore, but uh, we will nonetheless check this list from, I don't know how many years ago, probably like five. As I said, guilty pleasures are the songs that I think nobody likes or majority doesn't like. We begin with 2009. There's gonna be a lot of 2009, a lot. 2009 Russia. Anastasia Prikotko Mamo. So I think I listened to this song in Ukrainian. I'm not sure how I got to it, but I was listening to that one and then I was like, oh shoot, I listened to the wrong one. I really listen to this song a lot. It's it's such a good song. It's such an emotional song. She's such a good performer. I'm not going to say that I like the performance because it was kind of weird. Just her aging, I don't really get it. No, I'm not a fan of that performance at all. I don't think people hate this song, but... If you're gonna make a, a top of your favorite songs, this song is never gonna be on any list. It's gonna be 10 other Russian songs before this one. I think this video is cool. I've never seen it. I've, I've been just listening to, the, to the, the song back then. I wasn't watching the video. Moving on to number nine is Serbia. I hope this is not gonna block my video because apparently this video, this video's budget is so high that nobody is allowed to see it unless they come here. I love this song. It's also from 2009. Um, it's ridiculous. This he, The way he sounds is absolutely ridiculous. It's kind of silly. The way he looks is silly too. He technically looks normal. He's not like trying to look like that. You know, he's just he's got an afro, but you know, I, I think it's just a perfect package of nonsense. And I, I like the lyrics too. It's just such an enjoyable song. I love it. It's just, I just kind of, and the way he's moving, everything just works. It's like Spain uh, 2008, literally, it, it just works. I don't know why people didn't like it, but you know, I think it's great. I'm just gonna stop so not everything is blocked. So this song, this song, Slovakia 2009, Hello 9 again, uh, Kamil Mikulcik and Nela Pociskova. Let mo, okay. This song is an actual masterpiece, and nobody's ever gonna agree with this. <laughs> this song is so good. I know the cheese sounds a bit annoying, but I think it works. I think it works for this song, and it's it's a really good duet. It's such a good song, and I'm, I feel guilty of loving this song that nobody cares about. But I think it deserves more love. This is such a good song. Like, I've listened to this song so many times. I've learned the lyrics and everything. I don't know if I still remember it, though, but... <laughs> that was ridiculous. But it's the same with pretty much every 2009 song. I was I was busy in 2009. I was just listening to everything millions of times. <laughs> okay, number seven is... I don't know why this is on here. This is not Guilty Pleasure at all. This is just genius okay <laughs> this is a staple for eurovision again this is 2006 right and yes this is one of those songs that i still sometimes just sing it to myself and it's good it's it's empowering if you sing to yourself that you're a winner might as well it's ridiculous okay it's ridiculous but it's so good i guess the list was not supposed to be just guilty pleasures but also like troll songs and this would definitely be considered a troll song because of the message they're trying to portray. And it's brilliant. I love it. Okay, number six. Also, I don't understand why I put this on a list. This is one of the most popular Eurovision songs of all time. I don't know if people are aware of this, but it is. It's, <laughs> it's essentially overplayed. Yeah, it's one of the most watched, but not this video. I just picked this video because this is the video that I watched. I didn't watch the other one. Anyway, this is just such a catchy song. It's, yeah, as I said, it's not a guilty pleasure. I just, and I can't switch it right now because it's not like a quality song. Maybe. It's just a fun song. It's a joy song. Next one is also questionably on the list. Um, probably because it's kind of trashy. It's really trashy. Lyrics are extremely trashy. Um, for my taste at least. But it's so catchy, it's so much fun. I would almost say it's not um, promoting the right things. Oh, they did the same in the live performance and then they were wondering why the scores got lowered. I mean, you always take a risk 
with anything you do. That is not generally acceptable. If you just have a cleavage, that's different, but if you're purposefully like showing that's again something else. All right, moving on to the top five. I promise these are better. They're more guilty than just pleasures. <laughs> So, 2009, here we go again. Alex swings and Oscar sings Miss Kiss Kiss Bang. This is such a bizarre entry for Germany, in my opinion. But I freaking adore it. It's so good. <laughs> I never not liked the song. Never. I've always liked it. It was always catchy. But, you know, as I said, I liked everything in 2009. <laughs> so, I couldn't, I didn't listen to this one as much. But this was definitely, like, I did listen to this one. It was so much fun. <laughs> but it's also kind of trashy and, like, nobody cares about this song. <laughs> yeah, but it's so catchy. I love it. <laughs> over the top. It's such over the top. I don't, I also don't think I enjoyed the performance too much. Okay, let's, let's move on to the top three. Okay, I love this song too. I don't know if people actually dislike this song. Um... But I, I wouldn't understand that it wouldn't be one of the most popular Moldovan entries. Again, traditional. I love that. It's such an authentic song. And the, the, the fact that they use this for Eurovision, it's, it's so great. I love this. It's such a good song. And it has so many like different parts to it. Please tell me in the comments if you agree with me or is my taste completely out of whack and I should finally love the jazz song from Italy and trash these. <laughs> Spoiler alert, it's not gonna happen. I love, I love everything about this song. It's so good. Okay, moving on to Georgia 2012. Henri Jokadze, I'm a joker. <coughs> this song is so ridiculous. It's so over the top. It's so bizarre, but it's a masterpiece. It's an actual form of art. Nobody agrees. I know, I see the dislike ratio. <laughs> but I love this. It's so good. It starts so dramatic and it's like, wow, is this going to be a ballad? And it's just like, do, do, do what you want. <laughs> this should be an anthem for like everybody that's like a, a troll. <laughs> I love this. It's such a bizarre song. It's so bizarre in like all the right ways. It's so great. It's an actual piece of art. That's why nobody can, not everybody can understand this. And I'm actually shocked that I selected this for Eurovision. If we had a song like this in a national selection, it will never get, it would never ever, ever get picked. <laughs> and if you're selected internally, you would also not do this. So <laughs> this is just amazing okay say what you want to say i love this <laughs> and you can't change my mind now of course we have to if this is not high enough end on a high note on a note that it's really out of this world <laughs> austria and this was from 2012 a Voki Mitan Popo. I just said but so slowly. Anyway, this song is so stupid. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I would have to listen to it again. Maybe I can understand more this time. But I would listen to this on repeat. And I love it. I, I just love this song. It's ridiculous. But it was probably one of the most played songs in 2012. And I, by the way, love, love their live performances. This video is actually, that doesn't do it the justice. I think even the National Selection performance was better. I knew that this wasn't going to go anywhere, but it's so good. I don't know why. I wish I knew. Why do I love this? The question for the day is, do you think who or Phonic is gonna have a better song? Please, 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 please have a better song, please. I had a pretty good song, but it was just kind of average for me. I think it was in the 20s. I do find one of their songs a masterpiece. I don't know if they can do that again. Usually not many artists for me can make mm, multiple masterpieces, but I really hope they do something better. But it could be worse. Let's not forget about that. <laughs> okay. 
I'm pretty sure you pretty much hate at least half of the songs of each of these videos. If you want to me to update the video, please annoy me. Annoy me to do so. Because I should, I should definitely search for potential guilty players from like 2015 on, or rather 2016 on. Um, what I would like to hear, not if you disagree, but I want to hear if you agree. <laughs> I need to know there's anyone stupid enough to love any of these songs, especially the the Joker one and Kiss Kiss Bang. Well, give me that poem. Um, like these ridiculous songs. Maybe this one, Let Mo. I wonder if anyone loves this and Zipola as well. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Take care and see you in the next video. Bye!